I discovered YouTube and I thought that that was like a Dropbox, I guess, back then. <laughs> like, that's what I thought it was. Like you can show people videos, right? So you upload it and send it to them. The reason why we didn't launch with it was because if you go organic and sugar-free, it tastes horrible. Like you need the fake <laughs> stuff, man. Like you need some of the fake stuff in there. And I realize that now. Welcome right. to the 20th ever offline TV podcast. Today we have a very Ooh. special guest. It's Ryan Higa. Woo! Guys, guys, guys. Woo! I don't, I, like, woo, 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 woo. Not everyone <laughs> in our audience is going to know Ryan Higa and it blows but they my should. mind. They should. I know. They should. I mean, it's because they're like three. Yeah. It's like, <sighs> you have well. to be a real Zoomer to not know who Ryan Higa is. If you're Asian and mm-hmm. you grew up in the past 20 years, you're going to mm-hmm. know who Ryan Higa is. So uh, mm-hmm. welcome, Ryan. Wow, what an intro. Woo. In the past 20 years, you say? Yes. You may be surprised, the actually. the hearts of every single Asian on planet Earth. How does that make yep. you feel? I, I don't believe it. <laughs> uh, I come across Asians all the time. They have no idea. <laughs> That's unbelievable. <laughs> they just don't know you're you, you yeah. know? Uh, ah, do you, perhaps. Do you ever get offended if you walk by like a millennial-looking Asian and they don't say hello? <laughs> No, what do you mean? <laughs> do you like, <laughs> like, I, not like a lot? Oh, yeah, but if they're <laughs> <Toast up. laughs> okay, if they're wearing a gaming jersey or like something gaming related and they walk by me without like doing double take, I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. not a real gamer, just one of those fake gamers <laughs> because they don't know who you are. <laughs> exactly, you play Candy Crush. <laughs> okay, you know what? I guess if they were wearing, if they looked like around that age, like maybe a few years younger than me. Uh, and they were wearing, for whatever reason, all YouTube merch, like from the old school YouTube. <laughs> I guess they would be kind of weird, but like, <laughs> no, I don't, even then, I don't <sighs> think I would be offended. You know, it's nice that you've gotten so big, but you've stayed so humble, you know. <laughs> Toast, you should take some lessons, okay? Wait, this I'm... is like the number. <laughs> what? Say it, say it, say it so I can hear it. Um, so for those who don't know, I and mean, just for the few people who don't know, Ryan, he got uh, old school YouTuber, one of the earliest pioneers that sketches, that songs, that like whole bunch of thing. You know, I definitely watched you when I was growing up. Um, I think it was you guys and Wang Fu were the main like like Asian YouTubers, and it's kind of crazy to think about like YouTube back in the day because it's like, did they did they even back then? Did they have like people teaching you how to be YouTubers? teaching you how to edit or did you have to figure mm. that out no there wasn't you just kind of did it i remember everybody started off with like iMovie right well actually not mm-hmm. even i use windows movie, movie maker, maker. Yeah. yeah oh my god um, that's real and then, old school i know and then you discover iMovie and it's like whoa this is such technology <laughs> like the transitions and stuff so like yeah you just play with it and then you learn more stuff you know that's how it was for in the beginning at least i just looked up your age by the way and i was like huh you're you're not as um you're mm-hmm. older than I thought you were, Toast. Oh Ooh. yeah. I'm, I'm I'm like I think I'm just one year younger than you and Scara or two years? Two years I think, right? Yeah. Scar and I are the same. Oh. I'm yeah, the we're... zoomer in the group. I know, oh, you're my really God. young. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, I'll be the odd one out. Anyway. Uh feels like a gathering of like, you know, the Asian representation, and then we gave. And then it's just Asian. me. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. We, we got you. We got you. You know, honorary Asian for the episode. Wait, what is your Thank ethnicity? You. Have I'm you Moroccan. Said that? Mm-hmm. Moroccan. Oh. oh, she's like she's like two percent. So, uh, so sorry, mm. like yeah, a solid two percent, real solid. So Yata? does that like you know how we saw we say like oh that guy's Asian or that guy's black or that guy's white? Mm-hmm. What what's, mm-hmm. what what do they say to you? Do, Cause like I feel like do I call you like mm. oh she's she's white, cause that does, does that sound accurate? Like um, there's a word that I remember uh, that I forget. Caucasian. I mean, I think I'm am I Caucasian because my skin tone is white? Oh, I actually oh. don't know. I don't know either. All I know is I'm for sure Moroccan, and Morocco's in Africa, so I'm technically African, and I think. I may kind of be Arab. I don't know if they 100% consider Moroccans Arab or I think they're like mixed. 
I don't know either, guys. <laughs> They're all stunned. They're like, hmm, <laughs> well, well, yeah, what's myself? the right word? Know. You're here. technically yeah, African. I'm just not an expert in like human classification. Let me uh -huh. look up <laughs> Caucasian. We're gonna need a professor for this. White skinned. Mm -hmm. Before Frick, we offend it says people. A white person, a person of Europe origin. So it's like white skinned, yes, but not European origin. You're African descent. Mm -hmm. Yes. African Caucasian? I don't know. You, you know what? Tell us, where were you going with this question? Yeah, I'm yeah. Just, I'm just, I'm just, I just, you know, when someone says... It's a good question. It's a good question. It's, yeah. It really is. I just <sighs> don't know. <laughs> I think Caucasian initially was like a white person that is European mm -hmm. descent. But I think, um, I mean, words, words are pretty fluid. It changes with time as well. And I think it kind of True. refers to anyone that is white skinned. So... Mm -hmm. Like, if I had to fill out a form, I probably wouldn't tag African. Yeah. I think I would tag Caucasian. I don't mm. even freaking know. We'll mm, have to ask well. an expert. If you're an expert on how to classify human beings, please let us know in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> would be good. It's a genuine question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so, all right. Let me ask you. Uh, oh, oh, God. We're going to have to edit this out, too, because of the race Wait, talk. what? This what? podcast is going to be so short. Oh, I <laughs> think like I know what he's going to ask. <laughs> so, uh, Ryan, what's your YouTube channel called? You can say my YouTube channel. It's yeah, no, Nigahiga. Nig and uh, you can... You <laughs> okay, if you say it... If you it's different. Okay, you, it's, it is different. Um, mm -hmm. I can so, understand people's being, be, people being uncomfortable with it. Um, uh, how'd, you tell, uh, how'd you come up? Times. Uh, how'd you come up with it? Well, initially, it was to get people to say my name correctly in Hawaii. When I moved, oh. when I was thinking about, when I talked to people in the, we, I mean, you call it the mainland too, right? We call it, in Hawaii, we just call it the mainland, just continental oh. US. Mm -hmm. And we just said, people just didn't know how to say my name. Oh. Um, and initially, it would just, it, well, for one other than it rhymed, I figured if I made, made it that a part of my name, uh, they have to say it correctly. So it actually had a counter effect. In hindsight, I wouldn't have done that, but uh, <laughs> it was just that was. I also felt at the time my intent wasn't to get people to say the word, you know. Like so, that's why I never changed it. Yeah, when even though I have the option channel? to. Huh? When did you make your channel? Two thousand seven, oh maybe. God, that is like the most two thousand seven shit I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> But like it's different now, obviously. But like I, I also have over the years, even brands I've had to, I, I had to lose because uh, they wanted me to change my channel name. I was like, that's not the. If I change it, people are gonna what? think that's what I meant. Mm -hmm. Like that's yeah, that was my intent was to mm -hmm. spread the n word essentially. But like that wasn't my intent at all. Look, like I kind of understand you on like calling something like changing a name to make it easier for other people to pronounce. When my parents mm -hmm. moved to uh, the states. Everyone mispronounced Lee, so they 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 changed their names legally uh, to the Korean spelling, like L E E, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, or no, 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 was it the Korean spelling? No, no, it's it's um fuck, it's one of the different the, the, my different spellings of Lee. I think it's it is what, Korean. One to make it no no that one's Korean. I don't know exactly which one my parents my my, my parents changed to, but I, me and my parents have different legal last names. Wow, because they wanted. They wanted it. It's so weird. It looks like it I was to adopted. be easier to pronounce. Yeah, yeah. they wanted it yeah. to be easier to pronounce, but they wanted me to use like the lead that was like what, what everyone else of, of our relatives had. So like mm -hmm. when I tell people that they're just like, "Wait, you have a different last name than your your dad and mom?" I'm like, "Yeah, it's kind of weird." But I can so understand that. They're both that. lead still. No, yeah, they're big. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I have yeah. like a. <laughs> I call it a, a white name, like the name I use at Postmates. It's Amy. <laughs> It's like, <laughs> oh, because they won't. I, I like pretend it's because if I say my name's Iman, they're like, "How do you spell that?" And I'm like, "I mm. am a." Mm -hmm. Sorry, I missed all N E I M A N E. Wait, does it start with an E? Wait, at, and it's just it's too much work, so I just say my name's Amy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, that works. I, I have something similar. See, I already have a white name called Jeremy, but even mm -hmm. then, sometimes people mishear me. So at Starbucks, they ask what my name is. I just say Stephen. Cause you can't even see. Really? Wait, but you can. So, it could be like a PH. Yes, Steven exactly. Or a v. Like so, <laughs> I'm not Steven. I've never used the name Steven, so I never encountered that problem until I started fake using it at Starbucks, <laughs> and then she asked me P or V, 
And I was like, what do you mean? What do you mean P or V? And I just realized, oh, it's because Steven has two ways of spelling it. So I considered Wait. calling myself Bob because you can't misspell Bob, but I think they won't Damn. take this too many. Bob. It, do you guys call each other by your regular name? Like, do people call you Toast at uh, the house? Yes. Or yeah. call me Toast. Oh, but your real name's Jeremy. Yes. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. I think the only the only person that Michael call <laughs> oh, the yeah. Yeah, real name is Michael, and I think someone like, Yvonne. I've, no, no, uh, Amon. I've 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 said that here and yeah. there, you know. But like everyone else, like name, yeah. the, e- everyone else calls me Scar. It's really weird. Mm-hmm. I don't know how it happened, but it didn't just, you just tweet about like, that? <laughs> yeah, it's literally just like unless you work at the government. I remember once mm. I even had this talk with Scara. You know, like it's like when you're dating someone and you've never pooped around each other, and you're like, "We need to start pooping around each other now." And you have like a talk about it. I had that with Scara. <laughs> I'm sorry for the comparison. Is that a I was common just like, thing in your relationship? We always call you Scara. Like, <laughs> is it not? Anyways, um, so I was like, can we call you by your name? I like don't even know your name. I hear people call you Will, William, Jimmy, Jim. Who did, are you? I don't even know. Jimmy, and he's Jimmy. like, nobody calls me by my real name. So just call me Scara. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> I don't now even remember know. this, okay. but like, I, like, I could see it happening. And I now, think someone like, called you Jimmy, and I was like, yeah. do a lot of people call you Jimmy? And you were like, only people have known me for like a really long time, or when yeah, I was yeah. little, and, or something like, like that. It, it, it was like, an impression. <laughs> it used to be that like my middle name was only reserved for like my best friends. But then like uh, some people <laughs> in the scene found out about that, like uh, the CLG guys. And so everyone who, who I used to coach on CLG all called me Jimmy. It's so, like uh, X Smithy, uh, like Matt, anyone double lift, anyone from those days that uh, he calls me Jimmy, and I'm just like I get a little weirded out. So like everyone, they call me Scar, they call me Jimmy. No one calls me William. That's my legal name. That's what mm, I use. The true. banks use. That's what every the government the uses. Banks the IRS call me William. No one yeah. else. <laughs> no one else. And maybe, maybe I should we change should start. That. Yeah, um, maybe. It, but like, would it be weird? It would be weird too, for me. Like, I don't know. What do you think, me. Jeremy? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. I Does th- it feel like invasive? Uh, for me, like, Jeremy. everyone who calls me Jeremy <laughs> are from people from my, like, before I became a streamer. So when mm, I hear the word Jeremy, I, I think, like, family or high school. And when Why I... Why you say ill, then? Eh, it's, I can't... It's, you know. it's weird. Yeah, back when I was... Because back when family I was, uh, and high school, both gross. Yeah, back when I was no, a regular no, person. It's no, like, it's oh, like, it's like I remember me at Toast, I had this thing where it's like, some of the people in like we were watching like Poke Stream or something. Some of the people in Poke Stream call her a mon, and we were just like, "You can't call her that." Yeah, that's <laughs> so that's, like, cringe. Weird, you know? Yeah, uh, it's so funny. I remember. Like, I don't know you like that. We were IRL streaming, and someone in my chat was like, "Hey, so how's Amon doing?" I was like, "Ah, how's Amon doing? Huh? You gonna call her by her first name? Huh?" <laughs> mm-hmm. You know well, her like that, huh? I think I kind of feel bad though because um. For example, when I did my like online therapy session and Dr. K asked like what I prefer to be called, I was like, oh, well, like if we're going to be personal and like you're a therapist, more or less, like you can call me Iman, like you're you're speaking to me, you know, we're not. Anyways, and I think people saw that and they're like, oh, if I want to be on a personal <laughs> level with her, I need oh, to call her by her God. real name. Set yourself up. But I'm like, no, that's not like <laughs> how you get on my good side. It's like. You know, so I just don't want to like go on a date with someone and they're like, "What's up, Pokey?" Like that's w- you know, uh, <laughs> it depends on the context. It's like, okay, I've heard it. I've heard your name specifically used by people I know, uh, even pretty evenly, and that's why I feel like for me, it's it. I recognize both. You know, some people like if someone said Will oh, or William or Jeremy, I would be like, "Who? Who? Yeah. Who? Also, your name's no. also unique though, so yeah, maybe that's mm-hmm. why. There's no other Mons out there. True. Aww. There's just <laughs> There's one watch you cry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um how we got to know Ryan. How did that happen? I think it started with Scar and Ryan on each other's on Ryan's podcast, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Even to this yes. day. I have people asking me about that. The podcast? And, yeah, and they, they don't ask me about like the podcast per se. They're they're like, 
they either say like, "Oh, I watched a podcast, really liked it," or they're like, "How was Ryan?" Because they don't give a shit about me. They're just like, yeah, "How was it? True. How was it talking?" I don't know. With a lot Ryan? of people cared, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the interaction between me and Ryan, you know, you understand. I'm just saying, you're kind of fucking big deal. So that's what they all ask, you know. I, I, but I don't know. I feel that was like, you know, if I had a bucket list, I just I crossed something off that day. I was like interacting Aww. with Ryan. Higa. As an as an Asian American growing up in like the, the states, it's like, dude, I know who this guy is. Are you kidding me? And it's funny because like you are that in the streamer or, or I don't know streamer or gaming world. Yeah. To a lot of people as well. So how does that make you feel? Uh, I would not be able to believe it. Uh, if he came up to me and told me that, I guess. Mm. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Then I don't, you I don't, understand. Ah, yeah, maybe I do. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. <laughs> Ah. I actually met um wow I don't know what to say Pokemon now uh Pokey mm. we met like even before the podcast I think right a long time yeah. ago yeah, yeah um just randomly and there was like a couple other people there and I mm-hmm. kind of don't remember who they were exactly um I had the longest I, time I think I've seen what... you at a party and then I have a vague memory of seeing you on a rooftop. <laughs> Yeah, like a rooftop dinner thing. No, the the dinner thing. I don't know what party, though. Um, was it someone's birthday? Yes, uh, yes. I think Lily went. Toast, did you go to? No, oh. I didn't go. I don't think we met. Oh no, wait. You were <laughs> there, but I didn't get to see you there. Ah, That's what happened. Mm, yeah. Okay. Anyway, but yeah, we've seen each other a couple times. Yes, and just didn't uh, really get to like talk or interact too much. <laughs> yeah, true. And I never met Jeremy in person. Stop. 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 All right. Sorry. Toast. Toast. (laughs) On (laughs) left. And we've never met in person, Jeremy and I. Uh, Yeah. Um, uh, I think you started streaming on Twitch and uh, you... Mm -hmm. I know like a lot of our fan base is like, all right, he uh, he's streaming on Twitch, offline TV oh, streams yeah, yeah, on yeah. Twitch, and then yeah, it was uh, <laughs> Yvonne and Scara was the first people you played with. I- I'm not supposed to tell you this, but mm-hmm. Yvonne, huge, Ryan, huge, Higa, huge, ah! yeah, huge, just nonstop, oh God, just, kill us. just like being super like talked about it all day, and then she yelled at us every time we would bring it up, and she's like, "Hey, play it cool, man. I can't come <laughs> off funny. looking like one of those super." fans so funny that is pretty Uh, funny yeah and uh she acted (laughs) to be fair very very normal actually kind of quiet i think the first time we played because she didn't even correct me when i called her yanni (laughs) that was her real name um and to be very scar didn't correct me either okay i didn't see the v initially in her screen name (laughs) so i said oh uh hey yanni uh what's up when she joined the game and like no one said anything Uh, yeah she was she was like really it's so funny because she was like she messaged me that day she's like you you have to play with ryan and i was like do, do, do you want to be like a part of it she's like yeah and then like it happened and and like i could tell that i think uh she was also oh god it, it was like a, it was like a very weird day because she's like terrible at valorant as well so she's at, especially at the time where she'd never played before pretty much but she really wanted to play and i, and I was just like laughing my ass off because i had to tell she like you were saying something to her and she was just like being really quiet and then afterwards she's like can't believe you would tell him she like came into my room and yelled at me that was so funny actually oh my yeah, God. i wish she was still on this call ah, <laughs> oh, she'll have a nice ah. surprise when she watches Bro, when this, this episode comes out it's over for you guys <laughs> yep, you might want to uh lock your doors oh, nah. uh, I remember uh, Scar also asked me to play Valorant that day with you. Scar, do you remember? Yeah, my that day. Yeah, the day he invited Yvonne. Oh, I remember this. And Toast is like, "Sorry, I'm antisocial." <laughs> something like that. Sorry, I don't want to make new friends or something like That's, that. Like, <laughs> you know, the, I said something along along the lines of, "You know, sorry, uh, I, I get nervous meeting new people." Yeah, that's a. Yeah. I, I just for me it was like, mm, that's fine. He, uh, I'm not sure if I'm in that in that like you know, I can't. The I can't, mood to meet someone. Yeah, like out of that caliber, like I think I'd be too nervous. So that I need to caliber. like, wow. I need to sow the seeds first by showing off my oh, Valorant so gameplay. 
and here I am in your guys' world, and uh, it's the opposite, <laughs> and yet you're still saying that. It's funny. No, it's... Oh, God, dude. You guys are the legends of the streaming world, you know? Hmm. Aww. That's really nice. That I mean, it's nice. just factual. How do, how do you like right? being a streamer? Like, <laughs> you enjoying it? Uh, we... Uh, I remember it, it was like maybe less than a month in, and then I played with uh, Iman. We were playing a Valorant game, and she asked me on stream, so what's the f thing you hate most about streaming? <laughs> yeah. And I was just like on the spot. I was like, I don't know. I, I still find it exciting because it's new, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's for me, it, I enjoy it because it's such a new thing, and it's such a different uh, schedule from my everyday for the past like decade, you know? So it's been nice. I mean, it's still, like I said, it's a new thing for me. So it's hard to, like, say how I'm going to feel in, like, a year or whatever. But I'm glad you're well, enjoying yourself. Yeah, I think it'd be great. cool if we could, like, kind of go chronologically throughout your career. Like, how you like the YouTube phase. And then if you ever decided to pivot. And then why you want to stream now and all that. I'm really, really curious. Okay. So, so from just the YouTube yeah. time, J just you your just it? your whole life and career, please. Like your life story, yeah. yeah. But summon up you have three you know. hours. <laughs> wow. Okay. The whole life story of YouTube. <laughs> well, I first started it um, by accident, like most things. Uh, you know, back in I guess I I guess it was oh seven. I thought it was earlier, but mm -hmm. um, back then, even let's go back further. So I in middle school. Uh, I guess that's 2003-ish or whatever, 2000, yeah. I used to make, like, VHS videos and, like, spoofs of movies and stuff like that, and those aren't on YouTube. It's just stuff I did for fun. I was just, like, discovering how editing works and uh, stuff like that. I just made videos for fun. And then eventually, after doing that for a few years, um, the people I would show it to, like, my family and stuff, I discovered YouTube, and I thought that that was, like, a Dropbox I guess back then, like that's what I thought it was. Like you can show people videos, right? So you upload it and send it to them. And I thought it was genius. I thought so it was like I, Google Drive. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. No, I did. I didn't know what it was. You know, like I and didn't then I got like really famous. know. Oopsies. <laughs> it's kinda, kinda like that. But like, okay. So there were some lip syncs I uploaded. I want to say it wasn't until like ten or fifteen, maybe twenty of them, uh, until I noticed like people were actually watching them or maybe they weren't and then all of a sudden they did but like i was set using that to like send it to like family and friends and stuff like that uh and then i came back to it one day and just saw like the some of the early ones had like five thousand views and i was like who's what like who how like how many times did my family watch this like because who else has the link you know what i mean which family member is obsessed <laughs> i know no but seriously i was actually confu i remember being confused <laughs> And, um, and then I read comments and I was like, oh, these are other people. Um, and there was obviously the mix, you know, this is me discovering the internet <laughs> of like, uh, people, the, some of the most racist and like <laughs> the worst comments in the world to some of like the best, like, oh, he's such a, he's so cute. Like there's, so, it's the mix of like, your emotions are everywhere, you know? Yeah. And, um, I went down that spiral and then I found a lot of people wanted me to keep making stuff. So I did. And it just went from there. Aww. It's actually very similar. I'm I'm skipping ahead. I'm not chronological. It's That's very okay. similar to how I started Twitch, only because it's it's. You thought Twitch was also no. dropbox. <laughs> okay, so for uh. Twitch, the reason why I didn't do it on YouTube, like streaming, mm, yeah, uh, was because I wanted to try out and like my setup with like OBS. I was figuring out OBS and all that stuff, and I figured, okay, no, well, no one's gonna find this. And um, uh, yes. and they didn't know how to go live privately. Like, there's no unlisted lot. Like, as far as yeah. I know, you can't go live unlisted. Mm -hmm. And the first time I went live, there was like 30 people in there. And then a Reddit post got posted. And then the next time I went live, it was like se uh, 70 or 80 and then so on. And, and then I just kept, I fell into the trap. Mm -hmm. And I got nice. sucked in. You got swindled. Yeah. Welcome yep. to the hedonic treadmill. But it was, it was, <laughs> but it was, um... <laughs> It's very similar in that initially I was just trying to test it out because it was like, we can't film videos here. Like I might as well do something. I was planning to try streaming um, initially on YouTube, but I didn't know what I was doing. So it was like a test. Mm. Nice. I wonder. Uh, I saw the differences between the two. 
What's up? Uh, and what are those? Like, yeah, uh, what are I'm yeah curious. the difference? I mean, I haven't seen enough YouTube streams, but like, what I liked about uh, I guess what I liked about Twitch and how my stream started was that it was very uh, personal. I think I feel like that's why I never put a video out promoting it. Um, initially, and I waited a very long time to say anything on Twitter or even let people know about it because it was just like you got to recognize names and like it kind of genuinely grew uh and i don't know it just felt it felt nice to like have people who not only you know but they also feel like because they're known they're like acting like humans and not like i don't know you know what i mean they're not acting like crazy or, sometimes um, yeah yeah anyway but that was well that's because it was like such a small you know group yeah yeah I'm sure with with numbers like I've been in your streams before and it's chaotic. <laughs> so I would assume YouTube would be similar. Is my point? <laughs> yeah, I wonder how different things would have been if you tried YouTube streaming because like on like your Twitch account, mm. like you have tens of millions of YouTube subscribers that would be notified if you went live on YouTube. Did right? you ever consider that? Uh, going live on YouTube? Yeah, mm -hmm. I still do. Like I still like. I would say I'm gonna try it at least once. At the Ooh. very least, let people know that I'm streaming on. Sorry, let people know that I'm streaming on Twitch. Um, mm. But like, I that's why I don't, I'm not partnered yet because I have on that option. On Twitch? Yeah, I'm not yeah. partnered on Twitch. I, I'm. A, yeah, I'm really you should. Wait, you know you can oh. stream to both at the same time. Yeah. Oh, I, you should I just do that. that. You're not a partner. Wait, you, yeah. You can't. But as the partnership says, it's exclusive. Well, not if you're partner. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. That's uh, what I mean. But so, no, I mean like simultaneously. Like you don't have to do oh. a YouTube live stream and a Twitch live stream. You really? You stream on both at the same yeah, time. Yeah. I, I, you can I even congregate uh, your chats. Actually. I used to, so I used it's to do just it, yep. one chat, but it's both platforms. You, I did not know that. You would have to <laughs> read over the affiliate contract. With I the think lawyer. so too. Yeah. <laughs> like, but I don't I, know. I think affiliate contract's okay. But yeah, you will have to double check. Uh, I, mm -hmm. I used to do that. And I think I was a partner when I did it. So it might have been illegal. But well, I mean, yeah, well, now, you, you committed a crime. I don't know about... <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that's uh, a crime. Know, <laughs> oh, uh, shit. Uh, but it was, it was really interesting. I think sometimes uh, since both chats combine, it gets a little hectic. But um, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's nice to be able to be given the option to do both, just to try it out. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it did for a little bit, and then I just stopped. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, like that's why I hesitated because I didn't know until I got the partnership thing, uh, or got it offered when you meet the requirements, and like I saw that it was exclusive, and I was like, oh, maybe I should hold off on this. Uh, that's very. I just smart never tried. Most yeah. people just a, like insta sign. Yeah. Yeah, I just didn't. I was. I didn't know that it was like exclusive. I just thought mm -hmm. it was like. Ah, uh, well. So we'll see. Yeah, that's uh that's a smart thing, yeah. Like Pokey says, mm -hmm. like most streamers is like, Oh partnership, where's where where's the dotted line? Let me sign away like yep. right, one to two years of my exclusivity and it's like uh, but um since you're and a yeah, bigger content good. creator, you know, like paying attention to stuff like that is yeah, very you're a smart guy. Very smart. Well mm -hmm. I still might sign it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Respect. Respect. I don't know. I just, I just, at the same time though, I do want to try YouTube first and see how yeah. I feel. Yeah. Yeah. What are you drinking, Toast? I don't know. Like purple. It looked Is that really some lean. It, <laughs> it looked really good <laughs> in um, the pictures, but it's just mm -hmm. sparkling water with a bit of grape. Oh. <laughs> Does uh, it taste good? Yikes! We're kind of mediocre. It's just sparkling water, and someone took like five grapes and just extracted the essence of just it just five <laughs> wow and then like and like no sweetener no nothing uh no damn that doesn't sound that great <laughs> uh ryan do you have any like uh twitch plans or are you just treating it more like mm. you know I, i'm playing valorant with my friends kind of deal yeah i don't really have i never really thought about it i guess nope no initial plans I'm just yeah i don't really know yeah the thing i like about what well, i mean what was your plans ah uh, ooh um hmm and how did it work out <laughs> um i think for me at least i treated it very like grindy it's like every day i want to like 
get high numbers every day. I want to like mm-hmm. do something that people remember. And like, I mostly just played games. I played Hearthstone, and it's like I just play, streamed it a lot. And like, when you have a momentum going, it's really important to keep it going. Especially as like a game focused streamer, it's very easy to be replaced. Um, mm-hmm. So for me, as a game centric streamer, it was. My happiness was based off how many viewers I had on any given day, and that mm. was really hard to maintain. And that, like, I got burnt out, like, literally three years into my, like, Twitch career. Like, towards the end, I'm like, I can't do this anymore. It's like, okay, today I have 10K people watching TFT. Tomorrow I have 12K. The next time I have 9K, and that's going to make me sad. I'm going to have 13K, and I'll feel a little happy. But it's like, day after day, it's like, who... Like, does it really matter if I have 11K mm-hmm. viewers and a 10K viewers? And it's sometimes I might dip down to 7K. Like, what does it matter besides a few more subs, a few more ads, right? And it's like, mm-hmm. it's, mm-hmm. Um, it was not the right attitude to have um, if you want to stay, like, relatively happy. So, you know. Oh, yeah. Very That's, true. That, that sounds like the same, like, it sounds like every YouTuber I knew that mm-hmm. in, instead of like obviously well it's the same thing as views right um yeah. basing your happiness off views and uh oh. every, how your videos do plus the comments and also like dislike ratios stuff like that um Dude. i see a similarities yeah. when i talk to people about youtube I, when they upload the video i know every youtuber i know is like watching the back back at lx because they're like okay in the first hour did my video perform how did my video perform between my last 10 videos? Is it the first place? What, how did it do? And I'm just like, wow, you guys are really crazy about this. And I realized, like, I do the same thing for Twitch sometimes. It's like, mm-hmm. like I I used to. And now, like, I hide all the numbers. Like, I show my stream and, like, mm-hmm. literally, you can see nothing except for, like, the total fo- amount of followers I have and my, my total views. Um, just for mental. Because if you stream long term, mm-hmm. you're going to burn yourself out. So, like, yeah. right. Oh, uh, it's really bad. Yeah, numbers are a terrifying, terrifying. Oh, I should be thing. taking notes right now. Nah, nah. <laughs> you learned everything from YouTube. It's like the same thing. It is. It is a different. I think I'm in a different place, and that's why when you say about the goals and stuff like that, um, I think if, if I treated it like YouTube, I would be taking notes in like what performs better. Yeah. That's used to, what I used to do, um, but that's how I ended up hating YouTube. Or not YouTube in general, just making videos because you start making stuff you don't want to make, you know. Mm-hmm. I guess in this case, playing stuff you don't want to play mm-hmm. um, and so on. Yeah. yeah. How did you people... deal with that? Deal with... Uh... When you did start feeling that way? Oh, I've went through many phases of that, of trying to be like, <laughs> <laughs> trying to be like, okay, well, I essentially need to make content for myself and I would keep doing that. And I would get the neg- negative feedback. I would also get, um, I mean, significantly less feedback. Like, one of the things I tried to do was start the podcast. And mm-hmm. the podcast, everyone said, don't put it on your channel um, because it's going to ha- like it's gonna hurt the algorithm of people, mm-hmm. like, finishing the video, stuff like that. People aren't ready. Like, just make a new one. But I was just, like, so over it at that point. That was, like, a breaking mm-hmm. point for me. I was so over. I was like, I'm either going to quit or I need to change what, I'm gonna, what I need to do. Um, so I just got to that breaking point of like, okay, you, what have, mm-hmm. what have I got to lose? Cause I'm just not posting anything any, anyway. Make so sense. make what I want to make or, um, essentially quit. Mm-hmm. So that's the only way I dealt with it was like, I gave myself an ultimatum because for so long I was just making stuff because I knew it would work versus like something I got excited about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard Do of the s- phrase? I was told this by another YouTuber, I think. One for you, one for them. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah. But they, then it they... becomes to a point like where the one for you isn't even making videos anymore. It's like, I'm going to go take this week to do something else, you know? Ah, yeah. I think, dude, I think a lot of that applies to Twitch as well. Like, mm-hmm. I, it's, mm-hmm. it's actually crazy. Like, on the new game release, there's like every top streamer is like fi- fighting for it. And at some point mm-hmm. you realize that like, if you don't want to play the game, people are going to tell. Like, you're just not fucking happy, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And every one of us is running to us. Oh, we had this. It was the funniest thing. I think it happened a lot more in the last house. Every three months, we'd have a fuck midlife crisis. <laughs> and we'd talk to each other. We'd be like, oh, what do God. we do? <laughs> yeah, what guys. Do we play? What are oh we streaming today? 
And I would, I would hear that from like Pokey. I hear that from po- <laughs> literally yeah. every person in the house. Every what like, are you doing today? I don't know, man. Months? What are you gonna do today? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> it was like crazy, and it's like, it's because you just. I wasn't kidding. Like it is a treadmill sometimes, especially on mm-hmm. Twitch, because like it's different than YouTube, right? You you could stream however long you can, and like last yeah. year I streamed every day of the year, and you know what? A lot of those streams were terrible, but those really good for my brand, and like <laughs> I have to be like really careful to balance that with my happiness, because my happiness always comes first, mm-hmm. or else you kill yourself. Like actually, your yep. your content is gonna be terrible. Like eventually, in the long run, it's gonna be terrible, right? No, I definitely understand that, hundred percent. Yeah, uh, Pokey, how are you feeling these days about streaming? Uh, <laughs> I feel very autopilot. That's the word mm, I'm looking yeah, yeah, for. Yeah, and I feel like uh, in the past, either I was doing like a one for you, like one for them, one for myself, or I was just um doing what works and enjoying it or i was burnt out and taking a break right now i just feel like i'm literally autopilot playing valorant because it's the only thing i feel like playing (laughs) and just like you know getting through my hours and Mm -hmm. you know sometimes trying to do things that i think will do well i think i'm just a bit uh demotivated is that the word yeah Mm -hmm. mainly also because i feel like usually in a year there are so many things that inspire me or like fill my cup in a sense like going to conventions visiting my family traveling oh uh, yeah and i'm not getting any of those like uppers really so it just feels like work work and stream and stream and it's just mm-hmm. yeah feels like i'm not living life enough so, yeah yeah i like um looking at the uh, guys like ryan and also michael who just mm-hmm. i l- just relatively does what he knew. wants when he yeah wants. it's like i'm just gonna play with my friends i don't give a shit if you like the game or not i'm just gonna like, i think cultivating that kind of audience is really it's really good and like mm-hmm. for i guess for the people who stream more like twitch like um, the three of us where we kind of you know grinded and i think it's good but it also creates that audience that was there because you were grinding. It's like, oh, you're streaming. You're streaming the game I like, and you're streaming it every day. I'm gonna watch you because you're streaming that game I like so much. And then once you're like, hey, you know, I just want to chill and play games I want with people I want. It's like, well, this kind of sucks. And you know, I for me, it's like I would just want them to, okay, leave then, all right. But a lot of yeah. them stick around. They're like, why aren't you playing this game, huh? Just to talk shit. Yeah. yeah. Why aren't you playing with this person? Play with this person. It's um. Mm-hmm. It's annoying, but like, um, I, the way I see Ryan run his audience, and the way I see Michael like does his stream schedule. Like Michael doesn't have a fucking stream schedule. Like once <laughs> a week like or like stream. four times a week. Like, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. they're not spending time. It's like okay, optimal time is two p.m. EST. That's when I'm going live. It's like oh, I got some time. I'll go live. Oh, I don't feel like it, I'm gonna go live. And I think that's the right attitude to have if you want like do streaming and have fun doing it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, like I said, for me, it's still fresh, so it's not like I've been doing it almost every day, pretty much. Yeah, you're yeah, you have. I see you on, but it's it's literally because it, I wake up wanting to do it, you know, and that's such that's a refreshing good. feeling versus that's like great. waking up and trying to write a script. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sure I'll want to do that again, but I it's been so long since I've wanted to do that, so it's been nice. Take advantage, stream all you. Yeah. Want. Yeah. 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 At right. the same time, I don't want to feel that burnout, and I don't want to f- start hating it. But you never know. I think it's the games too, the games you play. So true. I feel less of that. Like, what am I gonna do today? Just because I can resort to Valorant and enjoy mm-hmm. that and play that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But if it weren't for that game, I would be probably kind of lost or I, waiting for I a f- new release. I think it's really nice because, like, recently, like, it's been. A- rare that we have a really big multiplayer game that like our entire all of our friends are playing yeah. at the same time so like oh, really? Valorant is that. like the triple s tier title because like so, when fortnite came out and league was kind of dying and then like, like fortnite mm. was kind of dying like people weren't playing the same game like actually people were just playing random stuff but then mm. like Valorant came out this year and luckily for Valorant, all the other multiplayer games sucked so <laughs> you're like forced to play Valorant yep. if you want to play True. a new game True. so or you go back that, to league 
like before this podcast, I literally logged into Valorant and I, I, I was there for five minutes and like Ray asked me to play. And I was like, what the fuck? I wasn't even playing on playing. I was just mm-hmm. seeing who was going to be online. But <laughs> um, it's nice to have that feeling that like, like popular games give where you can always play with your friends. And I think mm-hmm. it helps with like burnout a lot because it's like you're just chilling with your homies, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Very true. Yeah. Uh, so Ryan, as a streamer, you probably you've met a lot of different personalities, right? In the last even two months playing games, mm-hmm. uh, and you know, uh, is there any like can you see any big differences between like Twitch personalities and YouTube personalities? Um, I mean, I won't say every generalize all YouTubers, but I'll, I did I have been saying that like Twitch, the people I met on Twitch, including you guys, it it feels like old YouTube. Where it feels like a lot of people are genuinely just supportive and friends versus like someone who wants to meet you uh, with ideas in their head, you know, with ulterior motives. Not that they're bad people. It's just like, oh, how could I use this to my advantage? Or like, how can we um, work together in a certain way? And it feels um, different in that way. Uh, And that's for me, that's actually one of the main reasons why I kind of stayed away from L.A., um, because I know it's the place to go to. Maybe not. I don't know about streamers. When but you like, were saying that, I was like, that reminds <clears throat> me so much of kind of how I differentiate between like people I know from back home and a lot of the people I meet in LA. Not ma- not necessarily people in gaming though, but yeah. people mostly outside of gaming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's not necessarily even a bad thing, right? It's yeah. just like people it's are also, there to grind. Yeah, this is the hub for like mm-hmm. things oh. Hollywood, things media. So mm-hmm. you can't really be surprised that that at the <laughs> exactly. forefront of a lot of people's minds. Yeah, the funny thing I hear about LA is that people come to LA because that's where a lot of their friends are. But when you come to LA, <laughs> you also are lonely as well because everyone yep. who moves to LA is just there to work. So mm-hmm. like everyone's on the hustle, as as Ryan said, and so yep. a lot of times like everyone gets caught up in the same hustle. Mm-hmm. Because, my and God, you would not be paying the rent prices here if you could. I if know, you it's could. ridiculous. <laughs> That's fucking true. That's what I'm saying, you guys. The offline house could be one-tenth the price, same size, in Vegas. And, and no and state income tax. Mm-hmm. Yep. Just saying 10% of whatever your income is, that's that's just bonus. You can do whatever you want with that. True. and I'm Trying yeah. to sell it. Uh, I'm selling it to you guys, man. Hoffman and David are thinking about it, too. I know, man. Oh, God. I know. <laughs> Vegas and Austin are the two places that most people are going to not in LA. Austin's and I think they're too, very yeah. smart. Mm-hmm. They're very smart yeah. places to go yeah. to. What made um, you choose Vegas, though? Isn't the air very mm-hmm. dry? I hate Vegas. It's dry. Or it something. is dry. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, well, first of all, my brother is four years older than me, and he went to school here. Mm-hmm. I ended up going to school here too at UNLV, dropped mm-hmm. out, but I was here and it's close enough to LA um, where True. I would have a lot of work and stuff like that and meetings and where it's like less than an hour flight, but also the benefits like we just talked about, like it's cheap and no state income tax, all that stuff. It's almost like an in-between mm-hmm. of moving to Austin. I, I tried to live in LA for a year and a half actually in North Hollywood. Really? How was it? Um, it was miserable. <laughs> not, not the whole time. I had a, the, okay. Here's the thing. I have more friends in LA. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just like not my style. Like even just mm-hmm. down to like the traffic, right? Like oh. I know everyone complains about it, and no one likes traffic. But like, I already don't leave the house. But if the fact that I have to, coming from like a small town where I'm from, I never had to deal with that. Yeah. And mm-hmm. um, just things like that, and even parking, and just the little things, you know, that alone yeah. all the personal the people you meet and the all the bullshit you have to go through to basically like meet genuine people it's like i'm making it sound like i'm bitter but like <laughs> a part of me a part of me has gone through some bad experiences and and i always say too it's like the best actors in the world right live there it's part of the culture acting mm. um so you deal with that as well uh not, i'm not yeah. saying all people in la are bad i'm just saying uh there's a lot of um hustle out there which is respectable but sometimes I you just want to chill, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I just realized Scar looks like he's blending into the Discord. <laughs> yeah, just a floating <laughs> head. I wasn't going to turn on the light, but like it got dark enough to where I have to. I'll be right back. <laughs> it's, like, it's way too dark. Wow, was I talking for that long? <laughs> all right That's so uh, funny. It, didn't, it didn't help that you were wearing like an all black sweater yeah so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh 
uh, right, I can't help but notice you got some uh, ninja milk on your shelf. Uh, yep. Ninja milk. 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 <laughs> is it because you legally milk. can't call it milk? <laughs> no. Is it just a- I, um, it's named after an old skit, which ironically uh, I made off the top of my head and really had nothing to do with the skit. I just thought it looked cool. Um, also, it was another thing that people say, I say the word mil- milk. I say milk instead of milk. That's another thing from being from Hawaii where milk. I pronounce things weird. Mm. Milk. We were talking about this button, mountain. Um, button. There's a lot of emphasis yeah. on mountain. the key. Room. Yep. Yeah. Mountain. Room. I really like your room. Exactly my room. Your room. Your room. room. Your room. <laughs> I bear- See, the thing is, if you said it without laughing, I wouldn't have noticed a difference. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly. Bro, as um, soon as you said room, I was like... What? <laughs> mm. I didn't even notice that. I thought I did a good job at adjusting to speaking more mainland. No, it's just a personal quirk. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Yeah. Anyway, um, that's yeah. That's how the name came up. So how? It was based off a skit. So, so what made you decide to make an energy drink? Um, my addiction to caffeine, probably. <laughs> and I initially I wanted to do something healthier. <laughs> which was uh so that's why the first run that we did it was all uh organic and uh essentially it was the caffeine per i noticed okay so i noticed when i was drinking red bulls and a bunch of other stuff it wasn't even the amount of caffeine in it it was just the fact that i was knowing that i was drinking caffeine that made me want to drink it every day um so each can is actually just like a cup of coffee and it still gives you a boost but like for me personally it does help. I can tell when I'm, I didn't drink one, but uh, it's also a mental thing, and it's less caffeine than drinking like a lot of other energy drinks. Plus, the taste to me, I thought, was something that the U.S. needed, um, since it's kind of inspired off like you know, like the Calpico drinks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It tastes like a Japanese That's, soda. It's very yeah. Good. So that was, I, and also I didn't want to compete with like the Red Bulls and the Monsters <laughs> of the World, right? Because there's no competition. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna. It'd be very That's what unrealistic. you think, but no, yeah, I'm telling you, your product off, is really good. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad you guys like it. Yeah, my, I'm glad. I always hear Michael like grab one out of the fridge because like he's <laughs> we have like a Dude, drink. I think fridge. he has to go on like a diet now, uh, like a ninja milk diet. Mm-hmm. He's trying to cut down. No, he he's because he was having so many. He was pumping like three a day. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> well, energy drinks. So he has he like cut back to just doing like La- Lacroix now because he like. Uh-huh. He cannot do as many as he was before. <laughs> He's 22. No, well, maybe. <laughs> well, the thing is, we were thinking about doing like another version, like different versions, and like some were like, oh, like uh, low calorie oh. and, um, you know, uh, double caffeine. And maybe the double caffeine might not be good to send the, to you guys. The, the, I don't the, know. the, lo- the low, the zero calorie one, I was like, this is what <laughs> Ryan like, needs to blow yeah. up. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. Like, let me, yeah. But is there like an investment thing? Can I, is so there gold fund me? Can I just like put money in? <laughs> Okay, but here's the thing. So there's it's so we went organic, right? The first round. Mm -hmm. And it's so much more expensive. And Mm -hmm. so we thought people cared about that. And I I know a lot of people do, but people don't care, dude. Like they if you're gonna (laughs) drink an energy drink. So we're going a little bit cheaper route, which actually is for for sugar free, because the reason why we didn't launch with it was because if you go organic and sugar free, it tastes horrible. Like you (laughs) need the fake stuff, man. Like you need some of the fake stuff in there. And uh-huh. I realize that now you can't, there's a reason why that stuff's there. I always thought I could, I'll find a way to make it taste good and be low calorie. And also there's no way there has <laughs> to, I get it now. I Give and it. take. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot harder than I thought, <laughs> yeah. but I just, I just thought right, we're working on it. Yeah. I thought it's really cool to like have an entrepreneurship, like a company that's not gaming. Yeah. Cause it, mm-hmm. it's something offline TV talks about a lot. It's like, mm-hmm. One day, you know, will we ever do something like own a company that's not gaming? Will we make a product? Mm-hmm. It, like, is it clothes? Is it drink? Is it something that'll like live on beyond our persona? Yeah, yeah. that was the goal too. Um, obviously, I had to promote Ninja Milk, right? But mm-hmm. the end goal is to be like, I don't want to just be, oh, it's Ryan's thing. Mm-hmm. You know, I want it to be its own brand. Yeah. I feel like it kind of helps with you guys because you have more of more personalities also it doesn't have to be just like an offline tv thing it could be like another brand that you all support mm-hmm. true i, I think mm-hmm. for us uh, i've talked about it i used to say at the very beginning i was like offline could be tv can be anything we could be like a taco mm-hmm. taco selling company we could be like anything we want and i realized that like that statement's really bad 
experience. If you go to a, a restaurant and there's too many things on the menu, that's bad for the restaurant. Like you're just like true. locked because you can't make a decision. And the same thing is like kind of what's true for offline, where it's like we had so many options. It was like we just didn't do any of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> true. Uh, well, are there stuff you guys are leaning towards, or is that? stuff you don't want to announce because people will take your ideas no we have nothing <laughs> the only thing we have going on is potentially a robot dog that's i heard that's the only thing offline TV. did you actually buy it uh you know where we're unconfirmed oh. yeah we're, 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 unconfirmed you know e- um, emails are being exchanged <laughs> <laughs> that's so crazy to me. i will say the one thing that we that we did learn was like uh i think most of us believe that like if we made good content we can always worry about the more business side later. And I think mm-hmm. that's true. still true today. So like mm-hmm. yeah. our content is getting better. And I feel like, and even cause we've kept like a constant pipeline throughout the years that like we could still to this day pivot to anything that we wanted. And so like, mm-hmm. I like that. Like now that I think a lot of us are more stable in what we're doing, that like mm-hmm. we're all looking for like, maybe like, what can we do with this? And right. we have some ideas, but it's difficult because there's a lot of things that we could do that that requires like a good plan or else it'll just flop like an esports mm-hmm. company like you can just flop you know mm-hmm. or like some, yeah, anything like sure. that yeah and also having somebody on it right because you guys are busy every day yeah exactly much. yeah 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 someone trusted to be we've on had, that we've had interviews mm-hmm. with a couple people most mm-hmm. of them haven't pan- it's panned it's hard out. to find good people mm-hmm. to it's work with in the scene yeah yeah. How, how do you guys that, feel about well i know yeah. you just moved out right uh iman but like even for you like scar since you're probably the oldest one there right I how do you how do you feel about having to live like do you feel like it's essential for your business to have to live together or do you like genuinely feel like you enjoy it having the company i think it's almost like essential as a streamer to not live alone i think it's really? kind of tough yeah i mean Ultimately depends on your personality, but me personally, I had a lot of trouble working from home and living alone mm. for extended periods of time, um, especially like two months plus, because then I would just become really isolated and like depressed. I know some uh. people are way better um, at being alone than, for example, me. I think offline TV being a house helps a ton. Whether it's essential to the business, I wouldn't say it's a make or break, but I would say it's a big benefit. Mm-hmm. I would say it's <laughs> really? yeah, I, would say it. I feel like if we lived separately and got together to make a video every week, people would still want to watch that. I think we would have died like a year ago. I mean, I'm talking about at this point. It's oh, yeah, yeah, say no. in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree, but like, you know, I was history, like, wait a second, she just moved though, but like, yeah, okay. yeah, I, I, but like, like now I think it's okay. But like in our yeah. history, oh, like okay. there was like one or two periods where I was like, if you we weren't together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes with sense. The boom. I feel. Mm-hmm. I think. Well, yeah. let's toast mm, I think. Ideally, there should always be an offline TV house, um, like in the future, where let's assume like all the old guard retires. I would like it if there was. We have a family and babies and yeah. retire. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> like it's this. Let's. It's an offline TV house, and it's just going to be filled with, like, new talent, like, big in their Aww, own right. And, that's so yeah. cute to imagine. <laughs> but I think, uh, yeah, we could always just rent out an offline TV office, right? Or, like, a workspace, a warehouse mm-hmm. where we film shit. But, yeah, I think ideally there would always be a streamer house. I feel like an office is very corporate. Like, I don't even know what we'd do with an office unless we went toward one of our other ideas where like we different i think a house i just wondered how you like i don't know i I guess like you said it's it helps for streaming and stuff but at some point do you ever feel like i don't know i feel like i wouldn't always want to live where i'm working I mean, I yeah. kind of do that's that now, but I what moved. I'm saying is, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that's but like why also, she... just like, did, you know, like you said, if you were, wanted to start a family or something, you know, is it going to be in every, like, do you expand <laughs> the offline house or like, you get maybe it becomes the house. offline cul-de-sac? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny, actually. I don't know. I think we'll see. I, I, I can't really a... speak for them because I'm yeah. not in the house right I think now. It so. has a yeah. lot of pros and cons. Scar toast when you guys making babies. 
And yeah, will you work. be moving out? Let's work on the wife first, and I'll work. <laughs> I'll work toward the babies after. If that's the, fair, uh, like fair, another fair, subject fair. matter. <laughs> oh, congrats on your thing, Toast. By the way, oh, on the, uh, the show. Oh, does the, that the, so? Does that turn? Did that turn into something? No, no. Is that how the show? <laughs> did works? it turn into know. a baby? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you get a baby from it? Or no, no, got nothing from it. I mean, I met a lot of great people. So Ryan's talking mm-hmm. about the the. Twitch dating show level hosts and the girls can pick uh, host or love and um, you know I ended up with they loved you (laughs) (laughs) Uh, the last two girls picked love but they were very nice but you know happiness comes from within I think you know we should be focusing (laughs) on on focusing on Scara here who might want to do his own love or whoa, 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 whoa. this is a weirdly really uh, quick topic uh, change. you know Scara Scara love or host you know? <laughs> I might go on I've been ooh, thinking about it ooh, so you know I can't wait to see it yeah that last working time. on the wife part oh my god <laughs> <laughs> woo uh, I, 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 do, you, do you know what, what kind of girls you would want on there Scara Great, Describe them. Girls with great personalities. Like great personalities or like uh, many not girls with great which I'm talking. <laughs> You know? Right. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. All right. So, uh, the Ryan, ladies, you if you're interested. Mm-hmm. I'm not a poll. I mean, I've watched clips of the... I didn't watch everything live that because mm-hmm. I was streaming at the time. When Toast was doing it, but I also saw like some Saikunos. Oh my uh, god! <laughs> oh, the guy's hilarious, by the way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> he's so funny. Yo, yeah, he's, yeah. Except when he's running um, it down in Valorant in rank mode, and you're like, "Ha ha, Saikuno, <laughs> dropping me back down to go three, real funny." <laughs> I think wow. he's 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 like heard some of the comments, and he's genuinely been. I've seen him grinding like late night. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, okay. Like to practice, lot, to like actually. literally practice. Yeah, his. I think he's he doesn't want to <laughs> disappoint his friends. I don't know. Aww. No, yeah. I, I would log on at like two a.m. just to like check uh-huh. things out, and I would see him playing solo queue, competitive. I'm like, but you're not streaming, wow. and you're not killing with anyone. You're actually mm-hmm. trying to get better. So. Yep. He's a grinder. Yeah. Scar, you don't really play anymore, huh? Okay, it's because the last two weeks I've been playing like the Twitch Rivals thing, which yeah, I was yeah. up till 2 or 3 a.m. playing Legends of Ruterra, TFT, and League every day. And I placed 8th mm-hmm. place, so like I really just want to die right now. Wait, wait, you, ha- like, you have to tell them how many teams there were when you say 8th place. Eight, there, there, there you go. Oh, there you go. That doesn't <laughs> make it better, Toast. Do like that. <laughs> oh, but is it against other teams that are also like like yes. are they pro teams or i mean is no, it... none of them are pros they're all just oh. casual but like uh-huh. it's probably like the lowest place they've ever ever gotten and like a thing that i kind of actually oh. tried that so it's just like it's one of those things where it never feels good to try at something and fail mm-hmm. especially mm-hmm. like fail so spectacularly so it's yeah. like yeah <laughs> like I, I essentially feel like i kind of wasted the last two weeks of not only my time but my teammates time which i feel worse for and i just kind of woke up today mm-hmm. and i was like ah oh, life sucks but did you have fun though? No. Okay. Uh, well, you <laughs> know. Okay. I know. I I enjoy. I always enjoy playing with friends. But I feel like part of the reason why I signed up was that I could have them enjoy it too. And I think I'm one of the rare people that can enjoy losing a lot. Um. But most of the people I play with, it's way more fun for them to win. Not myself included. But like way more. Like, like for me, like the the value of winning to losing is like. It's like maybe like two or three times more for them. It's like ten or twenty times more, mm-hmm. and so like for me to put my word that we would win and then we Aww. lose is like fucking sucks. Yeah, it's okay. I get it. I don't think and like I think you feel worse than they do, and you feel worse <laughs> about them feeling bad. So if they don't even feel as bad as you do for them feeling bad, like just don't feel as bad. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's okay to be hard on yourself. Because what other way are you going to motivate yourself to do stuff? Especially right now. Like, I, I mm-hmm. like the fact that I'm hard on myself for certain things like that. Because it's like, I also have no motivation. Like, in COVID? Holy shit. I remember what you said to mom. Yeah. You just have to find your own motivation. Or else, like, you just, I wake up, I'm going to play TFT. 
click Dude, the buttons. I don't even know how time passes. Like, oh. time doesn't feel real. And I think it's because <laughs> all of the things that usually indicate a certain time in the year, yeah. whether it's like vacation or a convention, yeah, or TwitchCon or this, everything's gone. So I'm just like, it's about to be August in 2020. What the fuck? Like, when did that happen? Yeah. The fact that it's only six months in, I feel like time mm -hmm. usually passes faster when you get older. It's it's scientifically proven that's true from what I've always understand. But this year, mm -hmm. passing slow. It's like a <laughs> slug, a snail. We're only six months in. Do you guys mm. still enjoy going to Twitch cons or all those cons? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Fun. Yep. I do. M I think, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because you, you just get to catch up with all the other streamers and see some fans, take some pictures, drink some alcohol. Mm -hmm. That's a, I, I feel I, like seeing fans gives me so much like passion and drive. It's like, wow, you guys are real people that care. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I think of TwitchCon as like the zoo. So like they're the, the people who come into the zoo and you're like the attraction. <laughs> you're the you're animals. Like the yeah, yeah. So like, mm -hmm. it's like. Like, like they line up and they're like, oh, but they, they're taking pictures. It's like you're the fucking monkey, you know, the the panda from China. There's only like one that? of them in the world, <laughs> um, and so like, but then like as like you're happy. I mean, to if be you want to see it like that, yeah, it, 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 like I'm happy to be there to see my fans, but also to meet like streamers because it's very rare to like, mm -hmm. yeah, you meet other people in the industry on like kind of an even playing field. Like you're not there mm -hmm. to also do a sponsorship with them, or yeah. you're not there to do something because like. Streamers don't leave the house, especially now. Like, what, what do we do? So mm -hmm. it's like common that when you're streaming, you don't know what day of the week it is. I don't know what day of the week it is. If you ask me right now, I would tell you it is Thursday because that's usually when we do our podcasts. Yeah, is it Thursday. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. <laughs> <sighs> All right, uh, we're reaching past, well past the one hour mark. There's so much more to talk about. Let's mess around here, yeah, but you know. We got. We got to keep the. We'll talk. just have to bring him back on another yep. time. Yeah. Part two. <laughs> we'll just have Part to uh, play Valorant uh, together yep. and just do the mm -hmm. interview on the Twitch streams. Mm -hmm. um, but Ryan, thank you so much uh, for joining thank us. You, Ryan. Where can Thanks people find me. your Twitch stream? Because it's still relatively new. Not a lot of people know about it. it. It's it's Ryan Higa. It's, it's is part of it. It's. So it's, it's, it's Ryan. Ryan. No, it's, so it's Ryan Higa. Yes. It's, it's Ryan. Ryan. Can you Ryan get just Ryan Higa or nah? Oh no, was, I tried to, to but someone someone has it. Ryan Higa. Yeah. Did you yeah. did you talk to someone Message about that? Them, maybe? No, I just made it. I just oh. uh, it, it was right. taken, so I made. I just added it's oh, Ryan. Oh, this Ryan. Is, Ryan. This is what Toast, <laughs> Toast would say. You gotta flex your clout. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I was, I, you got to remember too, okay, when I made it, I wasn't planning to do it this consistent, like I wasn't planning to well, do it. Well, things have changed, so. It has, no, but no, Ryan, it, can I know. still change it? Let, yeah, you could you say. Know, we at oh, Offline really? TV, we have influence. <laughs> you do. We'll, we'll you talk do. to some people. And we'll, we'll, see what, <laughs> we'll see what happens. If I can get my name, just my name, that would be ideal. Yeah. Okay. The only but, other person I know who, who has it like you is Hafu. Yeah, I know. That's we'll why I made it that way too. We'll see what we can do. Yeah, we'll, we'll have a word with yeah. someone. <laughs> All right. Thank you. The so powers much. of offline. <laughs> uh, thank you so All much right, for joining guys. us, and thank you to the viewers for watching. Bye, As guys. usual, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I say that. I'm not sure if I actually. Did. Ryan, does it do anything if I say like, comment, and subscribe at the end? If it I've does been something, told, I've been oh. told it's supposed to help, but um, I never did it. So you don't. Technically, so the way, wait, how does he end his videos? Teehee. Hmm? Can, can, yeah. can you say it? Can you say it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're so embarrassing. Do the thing. You're so fucking embarrassing. Do the thing. Damn. <laughs> so do, I have do this. The tee -hee thing. One, do of my, the thing. one of my useless points. Oh, that's what I call my points on my channel. Um, I, I It costs a million to for me to do it. <laughs> but um, for you guys, I will do it. All right, ready? That's a million useless points. No one's gonna redeem it anymore. <laughs> nah, nah, they still will. They still will. Uh, I'm gonna raise the price right when someone gets close to a million. <laughs> a million. Okay, that's a they little. You watched your stream for eight months straight for that. <laughs> oh, is that how much it is? is that yes. Oh, it's that much. Well, if they do that, then they've earned it. Yeah. So. yeah, yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, I don't. I, I don't normally like doing that. Okay. Well, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Give the guest a break, you freaking. Right. It would be really <laughs> funny if your editor cut right at like the T part of it, and you don't get the whole. No, thing. but oh. it did. I think. <laughs> No, so it cut, it cut off for Discord, but mm-hmm. we got your record. So you know it what? should it's be. Fun. It should be recorded. True. Yeah. Right. Recording will Unless work. if I go into this edit real quick and just blur that part. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. All right. Cool. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 I hate myself. <laughs> <laughs>